Hello and welcome to our capstone project. My name is Grace Combs and this is Jenna Womack and we are also with Remy Sewer and Chloe Schwartz. Our title is The Pressure is Off. So we chose to do our capstone project on pressure injuries because we have found that it is a huge problem in hospitals and inpatient units as well as it just causes a lot of negative health impacts in hospitals and we've also found that there is a huge gap in knowledge of nurses and their assessment and treatment of pressure injuries. So our PICO question is listed here. It says, in PCU nurses, how does a teaching intervention slash session influence their knowledge level of pressure ulcers assessment and confidence in following treatment plans? So this is the current research that we have found regarding pressure injuries and nurses' knowledge of their assessment. So the current research includes frequent assessments and turns, either done by the patient themselves if they're able, and if not, done by the care provider or the nurse. And if there is a pressure injury present, the following should be assessed by the nurse. These things include location of the injury, size, grade based on the grading system, the four grades, wound bed, exudate, pain, what the surrounding skin looks like, and if there is undermining in the injury. Research concludes that there is a gap between knowledge of pressure injury care and implementation. So even if nurses do know how to assess a pressure injury, there is a gap between the knowledge and whether or not they actually implement those assessments. So there is a need to increase pressure injury training in nurses that goes beyond prevention and moves into implementation of assessment and care. These are the materials and methods we used. So we did our project at Mercy Fairfield Hospital for nurses in the progressive care unit. Our overall purpose was to educate PCU nurses on the assessment of pressure injuries and improve confidence in the assessment and ability to follow an already developed treatment by the wound care team, including the use of a new teaching tool. And our teaching tool was a badge real card that nurses could put on their badges. So these are objectives that are listed here. We objected that learners would be able to identify assessment questions to consider when caring for a patient with a pressure injury. Learners will be able to identify different characteristics of pressure injuries, and learners will be able to improve their level of confidence about following treatment plans. So our education was we emailed a 10-minute presentation to the nurses on the PCU, and we gave them a week to view the presentation and the teaching tool and we sent them a pre and a post test in order to assess their knowledge that they gained by our teaching tool. So this is our teaching tool that we use along with our presentation. We wanted to implement a badge roll card. So we have this made right here and included on our badge roll card is just questions that the nurse should ask themselves every shift and um, when they have a patient presenting with a pressure injury. Um, and we put the wound care team number on the bottom um, at Mercy Health. And then on the back of the card, we just have different stages of pressure ulcers. Um, and so here are our results and included, we have our pre and post test questions. So we had questions one through five about a couple different things, just about the training that they have received, different assessment questions, um, and just measuring their overall confidence in their ability to assess uh, different characteristics of their pressure injuries and how confident they feel in caring and treatment um, for their pressure injuries. And it was a Likert scale used from one to five, one being not confident at all and five being completely confident. And what we found just overall is that the nurses on this unit showed an overall increase in the knowledge and confidence in their assessment of pressure injuries, as well as finding the badge rule that we made very helpful. And there's a comprehensive understanding of the assessment questions they need to ask themselves every shift and how to accurately identify different characteristics of the pressure injuries after viewing the education session and looking at the badge rule. Um, so overall, we found that this educational session was very effective and there was an increase in knowledge. A couple recommendations that we have if we were to do this project again, we would love to be able to present this in person to the nurses. Um, and we were just unable to do this because of hospital COVID restrictions. We would love to have all of our group members there. 
And we would also love to be able to provide uh, physical copies of the teaching tool that we have made to all the nurses and hopefully they would be able to um, put that right on their badge and they would be able to find that a great resource for them. And then we would get some feedback on that. We would also love to provide some more time for nurses just to be able to watch the presentation and to complete both pre and post tests in order to get a larger number of submissions. Here are references and thank you for listening.